Engine vibration is a pretty big deal. It shortens not just the engine's lifespan, but that of every other component in the car. But it's even more of an issue in range extender vehicles where you're driving all happy in perfect electric harmony when the range extender engine kicks in, bursting your bubble. The patented technology inside the E-Rex allows it to be the only zero vibration piston engine out there. Let me show you why. Before I tell you the reasons why the E-Rex does not vibrate, let's have a look at why traditional combustion engines do, which is mainly due to two types of imbalances, primary imbalance and secondary one. Primary imbalance is the easiest one to see and understand. Produced by the change in the acceleration vector of mass, aka the piston that goes up and down, primary imbalances can be completely suppressed by having counteracting forces in the form of balancing weights. Those funny thingies over there. So that's that for primary imbalance, but what about secondary imbalances? Well, those ones are a little bit harder to see. Secondary imbalances, on the other hand, are produced by the fact that the piston travels faster in the upper half of the revolution than the bottom half. Again, they're a little bit harder to understand, so feel free to check secondary imbalance on YouTube if you want to learn more. With that said, and without getting into too much detail, this difference in acceleration on the top half compared to the bottom half creates an imbalance that gets worse with RPM to the power of 2. So it's not very noticeable to begin with, but the faster you go, the faster the engine goes, the worse it gets to the point that it becomes an issue. In a traditional engine, you can try to compensate for secondary imbalance, but contrary to primary ones, you can never suppress secondary imbalances completely. Okay, now back to our boy, the E-Rex. On the E-Rex, not only we never have primary imbalance because of the opposed piston configuration. In fact, even if we took the engine and I split it in half, each separate half would still be perfectly balanced at all times with all mass moving in symmetry. To go up, to go down. But what about those ugly secondary imbalances we could never get rid of? Well, our cinematic curve is not dictated by a connecting rod. We can actually make it to be whatever we want it to be, and thus we always choose simple harmonic curves, which by their very nature don't have over-acceleration, and this is just a fancy way of saying that we don't even have to try to compensate our engine, it was born in perfect equilibrium. And this is why we call the E-Rex the Zero Vibration Engine.